Hi guys, welcome to this video on Node Express MongoDB. In the last video, I talked about forget password and created its API. And in this video, I'll be creating API for resetting the password once the email is sent to a particular user for resetting the password. Okay. And in the forget password API, we configured SendGrid that sending email to a recipient email ID who wants to change his password. Okay. So first of all, let me add a new function over here. So I'll be writing exports reset password. Okay. And uh, then I'll be having some async function with the request response and next keyword. All right. So now we need to add its route in the routing file. Let's save this file and um, I'm going to open up this and I'm going to include the reset password over here and I'm going to create users router dot patch resetting the password will, will be the patch because we want to make changes in the users data which is already stored in the database so reset password it will not be the only reset password we will be receiving a token from that and next I'm going to go and write code inside it. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to verify from that token, which is passed to the email ID, uh, that it is actually correct or not with the user data. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to fetch that data. So I'm going to go inside the user model. I'm just going to copy this code, which I created over here, crypto one, and uh, after this, I'm going to write hashed token equals to this crypto. Okay. And I also need to import this crypto package over here. So crypto equals to crypto. All right. And here, then I'm using this hash token to actually verify the user. So I'm going to write user equals to await user dot find one. So here I'm checking that the password reset token equals to the hash token and then password reset expires value should be greater than the current date. And with these conditions, I'm finding the user and then I need to check if the user exists. So I can just copy the code from above for the user just for validation. Okay. This one. So rather than actually clicking a uh, user does not exist, I can write the invalid token or has expired. All right. And after this, I can actually update the database user. So I can write the password equals to request dot body dot password, which is received from the reset password API. And then I can set the confirm password as well. So password confirm which is from the request dot body dot password uh, confirm and then I can have the password reset token to undefined once the password is reset I don't need this password reset token from the user's object or a document which is stored in the database. So the reason I stored this, these two values in the database password reset token and password reset expires, uh, because here I wanted to check the user using this find one function. Okay. So now I can actually undefined it. And then also for the user password reset expires undefined. And also I need to update the password changed date to the current date. Okay. So password change date equals to date dot now. And then I'll be just saving the user. All right. So now I need to return the response, but for returning the response, I need to create the JWT token, which I'm already generating in our login API, as well as in my sign up API, I can just copy it from here and I can paste it below this save. So this is the JWT token from the user.id and the process.jwt secret, the same uh, validations and the objects which I created uh, for saving, uh, signing up and the login user. Okay. And here, then I can return the response with the user ID and then the results. Let's add this JWT token within an object here. 
okay so now let's save this file and uh, we are pretty much done with our reset password api and uh, it should be triggered from the slash reset password slash token which we need to pass okay so there were a couple of issues in it first of all this has to be request dot params dot token and if i go to my users routes i misspelled this reset password word make sure you have spelled it correctly and this is the token which i needed to receive which i did not return before and uh, the reason i have written over here and uh, this password will be encrypted because of the middleware function which is already written in our user model on the pre-save and it will decrypt this password and remove the password confirm before saving a user to the database so it will be automatically handled okay so now let's try to test it on the postman first of all i need to create the user because there is a chance that the token that was created before might be expired so first of all i'm gonna go to this service and uh, here i will be refreshing it and i'll be creating a new email id because this is the free service and it can cause few issues so i'll be copying this new email id and let's go to my postman and i'm going to replace it with the new email id and I'm going to create the new user in the database and also for uh, for getting password I'll be updating this new email ID over here and for this email ID I want to change the password so let's send and the password reset link should be sent to the email which I have created over here and it is currently waiting for the email so let's wait for it so here you can see that it has got the email id and if i click on it i need to get the auth token which is generated so i will copy this whole url i'll paste it over here and it will be converted to the real url so i'll be copying that token from the end of this url let me close the other tabs and uh, i'm gonna go in the reset password and i'm going to replace it with the new token which is generated okay and in the body and in the body i'm passing the password and password confirm which are the new passwords okay so let's send and it is returning the success and the jwt token it means that the password have been updated for this new user and uh, if i go to my get notes now and it has this authorization token of the previous user so let's try to fetch these notes now so it says that user with this id does not exist uh, this is the error so let me copy this new auth token which is generated let's click on the get notes and i'm going to replace it with this new token okay and i don't need to add anything else and it will return all the notes if i hit send and it will return me all the notes so it means that the successful completion of reset password is done and this is the right token and if we go to our database here let me refresh and in this database the recent user there should be multiple users so this is the last user which i have created and you can see that it does not contain any feed like uh, password confirm or password reset expires password reset token so it is successfully updating the password in our database so our feature for forgetting and resetting password is completed i hope that you have liked it if you have liked it make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the like button see you in the next video